The other thing is to anticipate the weight of an object. The heavier something is, you want to anticipate the weight of it. And so that goes in line for anything. You want to anticipate the weight of any object. So for instance, picking up this piece of paper, I don't really need to anticipate its weight. It's, it's light, so I can just reach, pick it up. You know, I can just reach in, grab, and pick it up. So that's actually, since I'm not anticipating the weight of the paper, I'm actually telling you that it's light. Whereas, for instance, here, if I, if I go to pick this up, I'm going to have to anticipate the weight of it because I'm going to have to shift my body over it. Here's my dumbbells. So when I come over to here, I'm not going to be standing normal, like casual, to lift it up. I'm not going to be standing casually. I'm not going to just flip my arm up and grab it and pull it over. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over it, right? I'm not going to be standing there like that. I'm going to come more over the object, you know, going to grab it a little bit more forcefully. I'm going to put my weight closer to the object. I'm going to also bend over a bit to grab it. And then from that bent over, this bent over is anticipating. And then going from that bent over to this straight pull, changing this reversal here to this straight pull, even exaggerating, I can exaggerate the shoulder angle a little bit more. But just going from like that to the to the other way is going to show the weight of the object. So here I'm anticipating the weight. So I'm anticipating that I have to lift it up by getting him a little bit closer, more hunched over it when he grabs it and all that stuff. The other concept is counterbalance. And counterbalance you do every day. Like so for instance, here's my character's torso, head, neck. If I stick my arm out and my center line for my character is still centered here, that doesn't feel like there's weight to his arm versus if instead I lean back a little bit this way. Let's say the arm is still in the same spot. So when I lift this arm up, I'm also leaning back a little bit and that's counterbalance. It's that sort of opposing action. You're balancing this object by countering your weight back the other direction. It's something that you kind of want to keep consistent because it's the same idea like this is a consistent weight. So my arm I might only counterbalance by adjusting back this much, but if my hand had a heavy weight in it, then I would have to counterbalance further back. I would have to adjust more than what I'm doing for this, for lifting up my arm, which is lighter. So I might have to go even further. Right, so if I if I'm raising this arm, right? Right now I can do it pretty stable, but you see how my body just adjusts backwards a little bit? It's subtle, but I'm, I'm leaning back just a touch because I'm raising my arm. So that's something that naturally happens is you counter move this way when you lift up your arm that way. I can do it holding still because I'm seated, but there is some like reverberation in my body. Whatever you're holding in your hands is part of your weight, and so you just have to compensate for, for that being in your hand when you lift up your hand. Uh, you, you just have to counterbalance back a little bit more than normal. That's like a good way to show weight with a human body too, is when you're gesturing, if I point this way, I lean back a little bit to compensate for pointing. My arm's pretty light, but a little bit of that weight going out, my body might adjust back. Whenever you're, you're gesturing with your hands, your body reacts a little bit with that. So that's something good to, to know and to build into your, your animation.